Welcome to Baking with Barcos with your host, Pug Donut. Today, we'll be doing something different in the kitchen for Treat Week, brought to you by the BCSPCA. In this episode, we'll be using the Pugmaster clone machine to create the tastiest of all treats, donut. Start with a teaspoon of baking soda. The Pugmaster clone machine requires exact measurements for best results. Ooh. Um, okay. Close enough. Uh, next, you need to add two tablespoons of flux capacitance juice. If you don't have flux capacitance juice, toilet water is a fine substitute. You'll also need a hefty dollop of butter to ensure the best production of those famous pug rolls. Stir the mixture carefully. It's highly explosive, and you don't want any premature explosions. Whoa, 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 I said carefully. What are you doing? Ugh. Use only the freshest pug hairs for maximum DNA extraction. Pour the solution into a radiation-safe plate and set aside in the fridge for 20 minutes. Safety first! Be sure to put on your radiation-safe gloves. Turn on the Pugmaster clone machine and set it to Pug. Pug mode activated! Place the solution into the middle tray of the Pugmaster clone machine. Ensure the door is tightly sealed. I said tightly sealed. <sighs> Input the clone initiation sequence. Pug cloning initiated. After about 30 minutes, Pug clone complete. You should have your freshly cloned Pug Donut. Look at how great. Huh. Well, the animals really do need your help. 